what do you think about fights between couples i don't know what missy is going to say there may be some surprises for me also there's a couple who is never having any fights never having any arguments then that's a negative sign and i'll explain to you why let's go deeper into that a little deeper mera baal kaisa hai baal is fine only why are you wearing sunglasses It's a little sunny here. I think this is better. Hey, this is our laptop here. We are looking at the footage to see that the frame is properly set. Okay, we are on. <laughs> okay, we are sitting on our terrace. As you can see, this morning we actually went <laughs> to Lightloom to our old location where we shot episode number three, and we thought we'll find another. place around that location we went there but then uh, today happens to be the rainy day it's not raining here but the closer we got to lightloom the more we saw the signs of the rain it was drizzling there and the drizzle kept increasing the closer we moved to lightloom it was very cloudy so we thought it's not happening there we came here came back home and uh, we had to do the show today because last week we could not do it yeah because missy fell sick last sunday <laughs> and we gave you the update so <clears throat> it's happening today the topic <laughs> in this episode it's been a uh, it's it's been a struggle to convince missy <laughs> to go for this episode now if you remember i'd done a poll mm. and uh, i didn't ask missy before putting that poll out and i asked you guys what topic you want to hear uh, about on the show in the next episode and the topics listed in the poll were uh, do you want to see the the clip where we kind of had a fight a little tiny argument on vlog second one was do you want to see dc traveler channel's earning and the third one do you remember what was it Ha do you want to see us singing uh, do it together and i think there was a fourth one also but i i don't remember but the point is i was thinking that the the winner will be the dc traveler channel's earning because i know that people are so interested in how much the youtubers are earning so i was 100% sure that that option is going to be the winner that's why i didn't and ask and that's why you. i didn't ask missy before placing that option that do you want to see the the fight clip but then as it turns out people are more interested in seeing our fight why do you think that is how would i know <laughs> why do, why why are you guys interested in seeing our fight do you think it's it's out of uh, goodwill or uh, it's bad intention to people who want to see the fight maybe i think it's a uh, or just out of curiosity what is it one is because of cur- curiosity the other is because it's normal between couples i think so it's funny also <laughs> yeah so now we have that clip and i again found that clip we <laughs> <laughs> i was going through that clip and <laughs> missy saw the clip and again she is like no this cannot go <laughs> this cannot go to public public cannot see this now because <laughs> it's wait let me let me frame it properly <laughs> now normally i would decide okay this show is run by me and the agenda of the show is decided by me so i have told missy that you know when it comes to youtube and money making i am the decision maker and i will decide what goes on youtube but in this particular case it's about missy also because missy is also in the picture there in that clip and if she is not feeling comfortable to put that clip out in the public then i have to respect that and that is why we are not going to show you that clip we're not <laughs> we're not going to show you that clip but we will still respect the results of the poll because I did the poll you want to know more about that so I have convinced Missy 
to do the show and talk about that incident or at least describe the incident so that you can then imagine and you don't need to see the clip so missy <laughs> what happened on that day when we were vlogging and what was the the cause of the fight so to speak mm -hmm. fight <laughs> yeah it's not i don't consider that yeah, to be a fight fire, anyways whenever i see that video again that clip it uh, makes me boil <laughs> it makes you boil <laughs> <laughs> like you do listen to me also like it was a it was a vlog when we went to carry firewood in a polo in a like, polo it's your first time carrying i will i will link that vlog here if you want to see which <laughs> vlog it is Go on. Yeah, it's a it's your first time getting what firewood in a polo, so it's very complicated. But still, you don't listen to me. Also, like when I say it's very complicated, you will like no, I can carry it like this, like this. So you don't listen to me. Also, exact thing. You don't remember. Ah, uh, like you did carry it nicely when we just started to carry, and when we halfway, like. <laughs> Like the polo bent this side. <laughs> yeah, the polo bent this side. Yeah, so like we we already fix it. Like you take a break. You take a break in that place near the river side. One moment, okay. Let this plane pass. Okay. There'll be too much noise. Okay. Yeah. Continue. I told you I don't remember also. And then you take a break, and then we were talking with that. You were asking the weight of that polo, the firework. I mean, firewood in that uh, polo. And then, then you carry it. And then after we reach a few steps, and then first say like your polo, it was uh, bending the other way, not in the correct direction. So I was like, hold this camera. <laughs> I said, hold this camera so that I can fix it. You were like, how can I hold the camera? Just pause, okay? So I'll I'll describe the scene. So I'm carrying this polo, and if you watch that vlog or if you watch it vlog later, you will know what we're talking about. We were carrying firewood in a polo, and it's it's quite heavy, okay? It's it's about 15 to 20 kilos, and uh, I am carrying the polo on my head when Missy is walking. Uh, I think alongside me or behind me with the vlogging camera, she is vlogging me. So when she's saying, she told me to hold the camera, that's the scene you must imagine. I'm walking with the polo on my head, on the back, uh, uh, but supported by the head, and Missy has the camera. Now you're telling me. I asked you to hold the camera. To for, hold the camera. For two or three seconds and that also. Ha! Huh. So now the polo was bent. The polo was bent, so Missy had to adjust the polo on my back. And when you carry polo on head, you you hold it from here also, right? From the straps with your hands. So both my hands are holding the polo. <laughs> and Missy wants to straighten the polo, for which she has to hand the camera to me because then she has to use her hands to straighten the polo. And then I am telling her <laughs> that I can't leave my, I can't free my hand because it's 20 kilos on my back and it's supported by my neck. So now the thing about this is there is a technique to carry a polo where you can free your hand if you want to because it's all the weight is supported by your neck in a proper position. But if your polo is not placed in proper position. Yeah. Then there is too much weight on your neck and then you are carrying the weight with your hands also, which I was doing. So if I leave my hand, then there will be too much weight on the neck and it will break. It's like that. So I was not in a position to for 10 seconds also leave one of my hands because it's carrying polo along with my neck. So then Missy is saying, because she doesn't know that I am carrying incorrectly and maybe. You let all the weight so she is saying, you leave your hand and hold the camera while I adjust the polo. And I'm telling her that I can't leave the hand. <laughs> and then that uh, kind of uh, annoyed her. Because, <laughs> again, I know. Because she didn't know that I'm not carrying it correctly. That yeah. concept is not in your head. Because 
she is a professional <laughs> not really <laughs> she she keeps carrying polo and uh, they work See, in the jungle it's like when you carry something like mm. polo or kho you you shouldn't let all the weight in your neck it's like you have to use your back also that's the thing like you were using you let the all the weight in your neck that day so it's di- very difficult for you yeah you so couldn't you leave your hand but the fact is i was so i could not leave the hand and then yeah. that annoyed her and then uh, we kind of you know had a, a little argument and <laughs> she is saying you don't listen to me you don't leave the hand i i'm saying i can't leave the hand and then i just use your brain <laughs> and then uh, yeah so that was the fight okay if you can call it fight and then i was laughing after a couple of minutes okay this is an interesting footage uh, let's keep it in the vlog <laughs> and i said let let the public decide Yeah. And then Missy is like, no, this cannot go in the blog. So that was the fight. Now, while we are on the topic of fight, I think you mentioned earlier that because it's normal to fight. I think many, uh, yeah, not many, but I, I've seen some comments. No. Yeah, some comments where people also said it's normal to fight. I mean, if you don't fight, if you don't have little fights among couples, then that's not normal. And I totally agree with that. So on that topic. Do you have first before I lay out my thoughts on that? What do you have to say, Missy, about that? About Co- fights between fight. couples. Hmm. Like it's one moment. Uh, sorry, one moment. Not to interrupt, but yeah. Uh, just want to clarify here that we have not discussed about this. Okay. So earlier also in one of the episodes, I said that when we were answering your questions, I said we have not discussed the answers to the questions. We don't discuss what we are going to say on the show. So. I don't know what Missy is going to say. There may be some surprises for me also. That's how we want to keep the show. So yeah, yeah. Now you 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 lay out your thoughts. What do you think about fights between couples? Fighting between couples is normal, but then anybody who initiate the fights should understand from what reason they are fighting for, and they should are the one who say sorry also, <laughs> like because I'm the one every time who's in the fall. So I know. <laughs> and you shouldn't stop like when you fight you shouldn't stop talking to each other also you should communicate so that you know where was your mistake so that you can understand because in the fight to i'm the one always who doing it so i know <laughs> <laughs> okay anything else to say no <laughs> okay so i want to say guys i have some deeper thoughts about this yeah fights are common first of all hmm. but there are levels to fights between couples so if there's a couple who is never having any fights never having any arguments then that's a negative sign and i'll explain to you why how first you need to understand and women watching this will viscerally understand what i'm saying and probably agree with me but especially for men this is a useful advice what i'm going to say now you need to understand that women's operating system is to create drama is to become a challenge for a man that's her operating system so a woman is not going to be happy she will find things to be unhappy about and give headache to her man that's natural and i'm not criticizing women keep that in mind this is not a criticism of women women are great as they are but this is how god has made women to become a challenge for her man and when she is doing that that means she loves the man this is an important point if the woman is not creating drama is not annoying the man is not giving headache to the man which is going to lead to the little arguments or tiny fights then that is a negative thing because that means the woman is apathetic does not feel invested enough in the man does not love the man and i'll give you i'll give you an example a real life example <laughs> so let's say missy not let's say it's actually happened okay so missy told me next week i'm going to revive so we meet every day after college she comes here she cooks food 
we eat together, spend time together. Evening, she goes back to her house in Shillong. Now, she tells me one day, I'm going to Riwai next week for a couple of weeks. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. And then she says, what do you mean? Okay? That means you don't love me. That means you don't care. <laughs> I, I said, I'm going to Riwai for a couple of weeks. And you're fine with that. So now she is creating a drama about that. She started sulking about that. And then that would annoy me, right? And you can relate if you are a man or if you are a woman, you can relate with, with incidents, incidences, incidents like that. What do you, how do you say it? Incidents. Yeah, yeah. Incid <laughs> whatever. You can relate to situations like this. So now she is sulking, she is creating drama about that. And that is going to cause annoyance also. But she is doing that. And that's a sign that she is invested in the relationship. As opposed to this, let's assume that the man says, okay, and the woman says, okay, and she goes away. What that means is that there is no investment in the relationship. If the woman is not giving drama, a woman is not going to, not annoying the man, that means she is not invested in the relationship. That means it doesn't matter what the man thinks. It doesn't matter what the man feels. And same goes for the man. So, if the woman decides, this is how I'm going to be, man says, okay, woman continues to be that way without feeling anything, that's a negative sign. And if your relationship is like that, there is no drama, there's no annoyance, then I'm sorry to break this to you. Your relationship may be in the downfall. Or at least there is no fire there. So I hope and I, I think most of the relationships which are healthy, a woman is going to annoy the man, which is going to after a point lead to little arguments, some tiny fights, but that's healthy. There are no fights, no arguments. That's a negative thing. That is one extreme here. But at the same time, there is this extreme also, the other extreme, where the woman or the man or both of them are so out of love with each other, so hating each other, that they're fighting all the time. And those are really bad kind of fights, not healthy kind of fights. They are always trying to make each other's lives difficult because they literally hate each other. That's this extreme. So, if you are at this extreme also, then you can't keep saying that the fights are healthy. No, those fights are not healthy. And you would know when you are at this extreme. But then there is this middle ground where there will be healthy fights, healthy arguments. And that's the best a relationship can be. It's really important to understand which level you're at whether you're at level two, where the healthy fights are happening, or you are at level three, where the bad kind of fights are happening. And the boundaries are re really blurry there, but there is one advice whereby you can, you can understand which level you're at. If you are at the third level, where the, the fights are happening out of hatred for each other, then that hatred will manifest itself in, uh, in the other areas of life, which I cannot talk about on the show. But if you're smart, you'll understand what areas of life that I'm talking about. If people are hating each other, that hatred will manifest in the other areas of li li life and you'll be able to tell that, okay, there's no love here. It's pure hatred and the fights are happening. But as long as you're in the second level where the healthy fights and healthy arguments are happening, a woman is being a headache in a healthy way, then you'll be able to tell that you are at level two because the other areas of life <laughs> are going well. Do you know what other areas I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. You did discuss. Yeah. If yes. she, if she, I did discuss. Like you, we were talking about that. It's not like we were talking about the video, but mm. we were just talking about it when we went for to sit in watch league. Hmm. Yeah. I don't quite recollect that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but but anyways, if she 
can understand what other areas yeah. I'm talking about. I am sure you can. So that's about it. If I title this episode as do DC and Missy fight or something like that, then the answer would be yes, because if we did not fight, if we did not have any arguments, if Missy was not a headache to me or not giving <laughs> headache to me. So I'm a headache to you now. <laughs> then that would be a negative thing about the relationship. And that's the worst kind, okay? The level one is the worst kind where there is no fight, no argument, nothing. That means there is no investment in the relationship. If that is your relationship, then it's it's bad. It's the worst kind. It's the worst kind. And that's where infidelity happens because mm -hmm. there's no feelings. It's like, it's just friends. Yeah, so I think let's go deeper into that, a little deeper. This first level that I'm talking about, where there is no fights happening, no matter what she says, I don't care. I mean, I'm fine. No matter what I, I say, what how I behave, she doesn't mind at all. I'm coming late at night. I'm mm -hmm. going away for a couple of days. She doesn't mind. It's all fine. She's not saying anything, not giving any headache. That means she doesn't feel anything. Like roommates. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> and that that is bad. So you're living together, not feeling anything. You don't care. You don't have any arguments over anything. Third level is better than the first level because there is genuine hatred. Both of them are just hating for waiting for the other person to maybe initiate a breakup or initiate a divorce if it's married couple mm -hmm. because there is hatred. First one worse because living together without feeling anything. Third one is better than the first one because at least there's a possibility that, okay, because there is genuine hatred, fight, headache every day, maybe it'll break up and people will be free. When little fights are happening, that's happening because there is love, because there is investment and that will happen and that's as best as a relationship can be. If there was a perfect relationship, it would not be one where there's no fight, no argument. It would be where there are this type of fights and arguments. The woman is going to be a challenge for the man, ongoing, never going to be happy, always will find something to be unhappy about. As a man, you have to make peace with it. And when you see that things are going beyond certain extent, you have to draw a line. And then, trust me, if the woman loves you, she will respect that line and then it will be resolved at that point. But next day, something <laughs> else will come. And again, the cycle will continue as long as you are in a relationship. That's how it goes. I hope you learned something. Did you learn anything today? I do learn every day. <laughs> Missy has no option but to learn. I'm learning it every day. Alright guys, so that's the show. I don't know how many minutes has it been. How Let me minutes? see. Is it recording or not? Yeah, it's recording. Where is it? 24 minutes. So we've been recording for 24 minutes. Maybe a couple of minutes we'll cut here and there. Mm -hmm. So this will be a relatively shorter show. We've done 40-45 minutes shows. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed it. And yes, uh, I do and did they have any updates? To say any updates to give them? What did we do since the last episode? Because this show is also about giving updates to them. We bought this, you see? Oh, ah, yeah. cross. I always <laughs> wanted a cross for Missy to wear in her neck and I like this color and the size also very tiny. And I was sick also. <laughs> yeah, Missy was that to they know. Missy was sick, now she is well. She was sick only for a couple of days. Three days, maybe. Three days. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Four days. Four days. Huh. Yeah. We are still waiting for the passport. We uh, went mm. to Panursla police station for police verification because here in Meghalaya, we learned that the police will not come to uh, your house, especially in her house, which is in Rewai village. 
So we had to go to the police station. We did the verification there. We came back to Shillong. We had to submit. Uh, after the documents being verified mm -hmm. from Penurusla, we had to submit that file to... Secretariat. Yeah. In Shillong. Mm. So we've submitted that. It's been 10 days now. Yeah. About 10 days. And it should take 15 to 20 days at max after that process is done. So any day we may receive a message that the passport is ready and it's mailed out and then we'll again go to the post office and collect it from there because uh, she Missy was telling me that uh, mails took time. take a lot of time to reach mm. Rewai village from the post office. So we'll do that and once we have the passport in hand then we will uh, plan our Thailand trip or Vietnam. But 90% is Thailand. If it doesn't work out, something uh, goes wrong there, then mm -hmm. Vietnam. So, probably in the September month, now we are in August already. Yeah, August. So, September seems One dicey, but maybe around October. But you will know whenever we go to Thailand. And for this show, what we've decided is, we, will, we would like to do this show from different locations. So, yeah. like today we are sitting here, first couple of episodes we did from, from the house. But then after that, we thought, okay, let's go outside. We went to Lightloom. And in Lightloom, we'll, we are trying to find some other good spots. Mm. Today, we did it from here. When we travel, especially if when we travel to Thailand or some other place like that, we would make sure that we do at least one episode from wherever we go. Wherever we mm. go. Every, on every trip, we would record uh, the match show episode from, from that location where we are. So we'll have a lot of content also. Because mm. we are on a trip, so <laughs> there will be some experiences in travel. We can describe those experiences. And a lot of other ideas I'm noting down in my phone. So <laughs> we are going to explore <laughs> all those crazy ideas, mad ideas mm. for the mad show. Stay tuned for all the madness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're done, guys. If you If you are enjoying it, if you enjoyed it, then uh, don't forget to give a like to the show and give us, tell us your thoughts in the comments because the more comments there are, the more likes there are, the more the video spreads. So mm. if you love this madness, share the madness by liking and commenting and uh, share the ideas also as to what more do you want to see in the show and we will do it as long as it's doable. All right, that's it. I was thinking people would keep on asking if uh, you get the content from your parents. I was thinking to add in the show a little bit. So now the show is over. We can next add time. In the, in the next one. Okay, that's fine. Bye bye. <laughs>